Hi guys, it's Mai and welcome back to Make Up My World. Today I am bringing you the bedtime tag. I was able to watch some YouTube today and on my subscription feed I saw the tag from Florida Force. She and Becky from Talk Becky Talk created this bedtime tag and I thought they were super cute questions so I threw on my PJs for the night and thought I would answer these questions for you. So let's go ahead and start with number one. The first question is what are your favorite pajamas? Um, that is actually a hard question. I actually love the pajamas I'm wearing now. It's a sleeping, uh, like, like a buttoned-up sleeping dress. But my absolute go-tos for this season have been these baby blue PJs from Ellen Tracy that I picked up from TJ Maxx. It's got a cute little button-up and nice long sleeves that allow you to like, cover your hands so they don't get cold. They're really super soft and they're in this really pretty light blue color. And then the matching pants that came with the set are just cute little check pants and they're they're super long. I'm five foot nothing and these go on for miles. But I kind of, you know, drag them along the house and they're just really soft. I can cover my feet with them because they're so long. But these are definitely my favorite pajamas right now. So question number two says current bedtime reading and I actually have one book at my bedside back there which is Girl Online from Zoe Sug Zoella on YouTube and I actually have already finished that book so it's just there from the last thing that I finished but recently in the last couple of nights I picked up a new book and I'm actually reading it on my iPad and it's may cause miracles from um, gabrielle bernstein and it's actually it says a guidebook of subtle shifts for radical change and unlimited happiness and it's kind of one of those books self-help books that help you to focus in on the good things in life really enable empower yourself enable yourself and just not let things bog you down so i really wanted to get my mind straight going into the rest of the year, recenter myself and refocus myself, especially starting back up on YouTube. And this is gonna kind of keep me motivated. So I read a little bit of this before I go to bed. Question number three. So it says, what is on your bedside table? I already mentioned that I have my girl online book from Zoe up on my bedside table. I also have a phone. Typically I have my cell phone charging and, and I have this book that I brought over which is a little journal and on the front of it it says dreams and schemes and I try to either every night or when I wake up in the morning to uh, write a bit in the book and it's really just like my goals, my to-do list, my ideas, um, random thoughts. So everything goes into this book. So this is definitely on my bedside table. And then the rest of it is all beauty products. I think it's kind of typical um, women, you know, like we have either you know moisturizers hand creams eye creams masks we have all of those kind of things that we do our little rituals before we go to bed question number four it says your favorite sleepy scent i don't have a scent per se i don't put pillow sprays on my pillows or anything like that um if it's overly scented i won't go to bed i have um I have asthma too, so certain things trigger it. So I don't typically spray anything perfumey or overly fragrant on my bed stuff. But I do use these uh, Downy Unstoppable Pearls in my uh, wash. So it helps the linen stay really fresh every week. It smells like these pearls and they're amazing. The scent that I have is Shimmer. Uh, they also came out with the Febreze recently in the smell, um, the, the room spray and the Febreze spray. And I picked those up and I love it because now my entire living room, bedroom, everything smells like this stuff. So this would definitely be, if I had to p choose a scent, this one would make me think of my bedding. Question number five asks, what is your usual bedtime and wake up time? Hmm, my usual bedtime, it varies, but it's always late. I am always up after midnight nine times out of ten unless I'm sick I am still up after midnight typically I would say my 
bedtime is around one o'clock in the morning and my wake up time also varies. I'm typically up by, if I have to go in to work, I'm typically up at six. If I am able to um, work remotely, I can, I can get up at seven. If I really want to push it, I can get up at eight and on the weekends, it's kind of it, unless I have something to do, I'm up at like eight thirty, nine o'clock. So it just goes from six to nine, anywhere in that time frame. Question number six, top three bedtime products. I have my skincare that I do every night and I, I would kind of consider this one product because it's the one thing I do for my skin, for my face. And I'm using the, the Kills Ultra Facial Cream. It's the intense hydration for drier skin types. I've been battling with really dry skin over the last year. I went from really oily to really dry and this stuff seems to really help. It instantly hydrates my skin. You don't get that really tight feeling. It just sinks right in. It's not greasy at all. It's just a really moisturizer and it has a very scent. It's almost, you know, unscented and for my sensitive skin, it doesn't cause any flare ups. The other two skincare products I use at night is my Olay Herrickson Ultimate Lift Eye Gel and I, I you know treat my eyes before I go to bed. It's just a typical eye gel. It sinks in really super fast and I've noticed that I have um, less of an appearance of puffiness in the morning when I use this at night. And then I also top off my lips with a cream, a buttercream lip mask and I got this in my Sam Sherman Mimi box and I've continued to use it and I like it. It's just basically a cocoa cream lip mask that you can just rub in and it helps to moisturize your, your lips and I find that it's really thick so I don't typically use this under um, when I want to do makeup but I do do it when I go to bed at night. So that's my top three bedtime products. It's actually top five. Seven, your most common sleeping position. I am always, 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 always on my side. I'm a side sleeper. I have gobs of pillows in order to let me sleep on my side because if not, I end up with a, a crick in my neck and I just cannot sleep any other way. I've tried sleeping on my belly. I've tried sleeping on my back. I'm just uncomfortable. If I'm on my back, I stare at the ceiling and my mind starts to wander. If I uh, sleep on my front, I feel like I can't breathe. Like I'm, I'm you know, really getting attacked by my pillows. So side is it's right or left. It doesn't matter, but I have to be on my side with one hand under the pillow. And so I'm kind of resting my head on my arm through my pillow as I sleep. So that's me. Eight, any strange bedtime routines? I don't know if anybody would consider this strange, but I have a tennis ball um, basically in my bed and I use this to massage my back when I go to bed. I've been getting into a new sport recently and I have a lot of muscles that I've never used before. So, and they're really in my back, my lower back and in between my shoulder blades, which are the hardest place to massage. And even when people do it for me, they just don't get in there deep enough. And I was watching something somewhere and they said, uh, and one of the massage therapists said to use a tennis ball either against the wall or in your bed to you know put it underneath and kind of you roll yourself over it you can give yourself a massage and this stuff this thing is amazing a simple tennis ball and my knots get worked out it's so amazing and I guess that would be a weird bedtime routine but I really swear by this ball it's it's amazing so if you guys have tight backs or achy backs and you want to get a massage but you don't want to go out and pay for it or you don't have the time grab a tennis ball or anything small and firm lie in your bed roll it around your back wherever you're having problems and it feels amazing so thank me for it and the last question asks are you the big spoon or the little spoon and I'd have to say consistently over the years, I've always been the little spoon. I am, like I said, I'm five foot nothing. And typically the guys that I've dated are six foot plus, typically over six two. So I am a full foot shorter than them, which means they're pretty big and overwhelming as it is. So me trying to hug around that, 
<laughs> it would be it, it's it's possible but it's difficult so i am typically the little spoon but in all honesty i don't like spooning i'm one of those people that will cuddle for a little while but then i need my space so i am half a spoon <laughs> so i am a teaspoon I, you know, I'll take a little bit and then I need my, my side of the bed. It's so much fun answering these questions and I really want to thank Floor and Becky for putting this tag together. The people I would like to tag are Sam Sherman because I love her videos and I think it's really cute when she answers uh, tags like this. She's She really does it off the top of her head which is completely cute and adorable. I would like to tag Hey Gorgeous XXX. Um, I'd also like to tag Hawkins and, and it's Judy's time and might as well, Julie G713. I love all of those YouTubers and I would love to see them do this tag. So if I haven't mentioned your name and you guys would like to do the tag, please feel free. If you want to answer any of the questions just randomly, leave them in the box below. Whatever your favorite question was, leave your response or your answer to it as a comment below. I'm really curious to see what crazy quirks people have come bedtime. If it's a, if you're a side sleeper, if you're, you like to sleep upside down, if you have to have your feet on the pillow instead of your head, I, I really want to see what crazy things people do and you know, also what kind of products you all use. So I'm, I'm curious about that too. So if you would leave me a comment below answering any of the, any or all of the questions, or if you do uh, the tag yourself, leave me a link. I would love to watch it. I think it's so fun to, to watch people's tags. Um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. I'd appreciate having more friends on YouTube. And as usual, guys, be kind to yourself. Don't ever be afraid to be your perfectly imperfect you. Take care and I'll talk to you later. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. Click on the video above to get another glimpse into my world. And don't forget to visit my website, MakeupMyWorld.com for more details on me and the products reviewed here today. Also be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My details are below. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.